Helen's great uh, nephew, Adam Foster, is joining us now. He's also chairman of the Helen Foster Snow Foundation. Just saw him a moment ago in the story that uh, Sean had for us. Adam, uh, she dedicated so much of her life to building bridges between East and West. If she were alive today, what would she think about the relationship between these two countries right now? Well, I think she'd be um, disappointed that, that, the, that the relationship is not where it should be. Um, you know, she was a very big advocate that, uh, that there needs to be a bridge between our two countries, that we should work together. And that's really what the gung-ho cooperative movement was all about. Um, in fact, that's uh, why we started our foundation, is to help us, uh, you know, perpetuate these ties between our two countries. Um, but also, I think that she'd see that there's a lot of hope here. You know, there are people in the United States who care very much about China. Uh, and, and our foundation is working to help galvanize that movement and, and help people understand how they can contribute to this relationship. Adam, what would she think of journalism about China? Because she really opened up our eyes to what was going on in that country, and that's what journalists generally do. But much of what I read about uh, you know, China and the Western media is, is very, very negative. I mean, how would she view it? Yeah, I think she, she would agree uh, that most of that comes from a lack of understanding. It, it, you know, Americans were quite ignorant about how modern China came to be. Um, there's a lot going on in the media uh, that has perpetuated that story. And I think that she, she really understands the power of the media and the responsibility that the media has in telling the correct story. And so I think that it's up to us here in America to really become educated. I think there's a, a huge opportunity to, to learn about what China's goals are and really what the culture is over there so that we can embrace that culture and really form a relationship between our two countries. Uh, she undoubtedly uh, was a strong believer in dialogue as well, and, and I know your foundation's really a an advocate in that regard. I know you have this event coming up in September. It's this annual discourse. Uh, talk to us about why that's important, especially during these rocky times. Yeah, so every year we have a discourse where we bring people from China and the U.S. We talk about U.S.-China issues and, and the different things going on between our countries. And that's a very critical uh, thing going on today. If we can really create a dialogue that helps to strengthen those, the understanding of people-to-people of -people ties, I think that's what Helen was all about. Um, you know, Washington and Beijing, we're always going to have our differences. Uh, but it's very important that we learn from each other and that we grow. Uh, in fact, that's why we're, we're starting a, an exhibit of some of her photos uh, in Jiangxi province. Uh, this month, we're actually launching an exhibit of some of her 11,000 photographs that she took uh, to create that dialogue and really to educate people. And that's going to happen at the Nanchang uh, High Tech Zone Library. We're really excited to launch this exhibit, and we hope that it brings understanding between our two people. Adam, I'm going to steal your line from the story, uh, Sean's story, where you said she's the best kept secret. Uh, how long was she a secret in your family? I mean, growing up, was, was, was she around spinning tales? I mean, talk to us about growing up and, and hearing, you know, the contributions that she, she gave us all. Yeah, so growing up, you know, we had heard about Aunt Helen, um, and, but she was not really involved in uh, the spotlight. She kind of kept to herself, you know, when her time in China, she met some very powerful people, some very uh, uh, interesting folks over there that she grew a relationship and a friendship. And I think uh, when she came back to the United States, it, it, there was some, uh, you know, McCarthyism was going on and she was a victim of that. Um, and so she kind of secluded herself. And it wasn't until much later that we really started to understand the impact that she had as a journalist and as a humanitarian over there in China. And we had people reaching out to us from all over the place, wanting to learn more about her story. Uh, and so it's really helped us, you know, the next generation connect with uh, what she did over there and the stories and the people from her past and really helped us to understand why the U.S.-China relationship is so important. Adam, uh, Sean asked you, do we need more Helens? Obviously, your answer would be yes. You got emotional about that. But you do have a class that's offered, which can show that basically all of us can be Helen Foster Snows. Uh, it's offered in, in a number of universities in Utah and Xi'an. Can you talk to us about that class? Yeah, so it's actually a class that uh, Dr. Peter Chan is putting together. He's on our board. And it is a class about 
um, how modern China came to be, particularly the, the influence that these American journalists had while they were there in China. Uh, it focuses a lot on Helen and her contributions there. And it's really the goal is to help Americans and Chinese understand how modern China came to be. And our hope is that that will help reduce a lot of the bias that exists here in the United States, but also helps remind the next generation of the sacrifices that, that uh, those Chinese pioneers made uh, back in Yan'an and the Red Army and that whole movement, what it did for the country. You know, China is uh, <laughs> the biggest economy in the world, you know, and, and the United States and China we need to learn how to come together and, and to create uh, a dialogue and an understanding. And I think that this course will really help people understand China a little bit more um, and remind uh, our, the next generation of, of the sacrifices that were made uh, to, to create this amazing country that China has become. Well, Adam, she undoubtedly cast a long shadow. You seem to be doing very well for yourself. I really appreciate you talking to us. Uh, thanks so much. It's my pleasure.